Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at the binomial expansion and this time we're looking in the case when n is not a positive integer. Now in C2 we use this formula here um, and so if we had 1 plus x to the power of 7 we would go up to x to the power of 7 and we would be able to find our coefficients using this ncr thing um, and you could put that um, in the calculator and you'd get the various coefficients out. Now just reminding ourselves what the NCR was, the N uh, was the power and the R was the position of the coefficient starting counting at zero and then it said that we had N factorial or R factorial uh, brackets N minus R factorial so that's uh, factorial is so 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay so if we don't have a natural number that's a sort of whole number, positive whole number, um, then the formula doesn't have a last ter term because when you sort of count down you don't get that zero uh, to the power of zero term. So what we have to do then is we use this thing here and this is only valid if the modul modulus of x is smaller than one. So we can work out our expansion but we can only work out our expansion if we have x smaller than 1 and there's clever trickeries you can learn later on in your maths career about how to get your x to be small like that um, but for now we're just going to have that that we have to have our x is uh, smaller than 1. Okay so all we do is we take the formula which I have here so find the first four terms in ascending powers of x in the expansion of this um, and where x is between minus 1 and 1. So we're happy, we're happy that we're, we, we can use our expansion. And we then just substitute in for n equals minus 5 and x equals x. And I've written that there because that might be 3x here and then your x would be 3x. Now I really strongly recommend this format because as these things get complicated and you have fractional powers it's very very easy to make a mistake and it's very hard to do it all together so I just go term by term get them down and then I've got space to do all the calculations I need for each term so the first one term one is just one so I write one in second one's n times x n was minus five times x term three is n times n minus one so minus five and minus 5 minus 1 gives me minus 6 over 2 factorial, 2 factorial is 2 times 1 times x squared and then the fourth term is uh, minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 so taking 1 away 3 times um, gives you x cubed over 3 times 2 times 1 and that <coughs> equals when you work it out equals minus 35 x cubed and it is probably nice to write out that you know the first four terms are but this is perfectly clear and this would be fine to get the marks now I've got another video where we have got some um, harder examples um, if you want to go on and look at that.